Hi everyone. So I have a, a really important life lesson to share here today. And this has to do with when you make a mistake that there's another mistake that's made where when you make a mistake and you only try to change your actions that made the mistake and in so doing that is actually a mistake because you're only focused on changing your actions your knowledge your behavior approach only and that's a mistake so how and why is that? The other day I saw uh, from Earth Haven, Gion talking about um, uh, mistakes they had made where they originally had these problems with um, pipes and this construction project and the first let's say, attempted, attempted solutions to fixing these problems weren't actually the solution and it created more problems and let's say wasted time, wasted effort. But then Yon realized the mistakes, meaning that he just had to keep looking for the solution. He found it, the solution is actually quite simple and he did the video sharing about it talking about it so i saw this and i also saw um, someone else chatting about how the mistake that they had made when they talked about their mistake they're like only focused on their actions on Okay, I just have to do this approach next time. And that's it. And the difference here in these two situations was how there's this point of, of self that was looked at where there's a difference when you make a mistake and in that moment, you're humble about it and you talk about it and you share about it and you reflect on it and you actually sort of take it within yourself to understand the point that how I was feeling the moment, how, what I was thinking about, who I was within myself, my emotional states, my self actually led to that outcome. Whereas if you make, let's say the same mistake and you only talk about, okay, I should have done this, I should have done that, and that's it, without taking it back to yourself, looking at what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're going through. Because what happens when you only, let's say for example, uh, for me like focusing, for example, for me a problem that I had, let's say in my life, was in communication and talking to people and expressing myself. And initially I made that mistake of firstly, well, not firstly, but <laughs> I made that mistake of of trying to change how I talk and how I present myself to be, let's say, more friendly. But here only focusing on like social skills, like as if it's a skill. And in reality, I mean, that was a mistake because in reality, the solution has to be from who I am. And that's what I found where it's nothing really about skills or being good at talking to people or anything like that. That's not true. 
that's not how things work. How reality works, how this entire world and universe is structured, it's all around self, who you are, the very point within you. And so, for example, if who you are in a moment is nervousness, is anxiety, is uh, having low value, low self-esteem, um, judging yourself, punishing yourself, hurting yourself, if that's who you are in a moment, then that will manifest as the so-called being bad at talking to people or, or not being good at socializing. And if who you are is is self-acceptance, self-worth, self-love, then that's what, who you are in the moment, that's what you express. And even for people who, let's say, are judged as having good social skills, as let's say the manifestation, if you look at who they are, well, it depends on the people you're talking about, right? <laughs> but for some people, even though, let's say, they are, let's say, talkative, have lots of friends, are very social, some of those people are actually the same as the people who don't, let's say, have any social skills on the outside. Because when that person who's being so sociable, when they're actually being their real, true self, it's different. So are they actually living the word self-love, self-care, self, self-value, self-acceptance? And it, what's interesting is that when you live those words, they are one and equal, meaning that you're able to see when a person is living that, and you're able to recognize it. And even though it may manifest in slightly different ways, it has that same kind of like a like a signature, like something that you can use to identify it with. And and so this is a lesson here where if you make a mistake, don't only try to focus on only your behavior, only on the knowledge. Because if you do that, then yes, you'll, let's say, change your behavior. Yes, you'll gain more knowledge. But who you are is still the same. And so what you actually express isn't your real, full expression. You may be a smart defense. You may become intelligent. You may become like a, like a disciplinary person. You may become very structured and regimental, you may become very sociable and likable and friendly, you may become lots of different things that will, let's say, bring you success, let's say, in the world, in terms of money and career and advancement and power, but it's not actually a real full expression. And what's interesting here is that, you know, what, what would your real expression really give you? What what do you attain with that? And it's kind of interesting here is because this is kind of part of a whole design of of being in the world system, of, of trying to be successful in the eyes of the world, trying to have power, have money, have all those things in the world according to what we have defined and accepted and allowed as the world system. And what I'm trying to show here is how there, how we've often, um, from time and time again, sacrificed ourselves, made a choice to go after the money, the power, the fame, the popularity, the influence in the world system. But then what do you actually give up? And how many of us actually stick to the point of integrities and principles? And where does that actually lead? 
those people. I mean, there have been plenty of people since the dawn of time who have been those examples, who have lived the principles of integrity, and they took on the world system in various different ways. And it's not even that they took it on, it's just the fact that they decided to be who they are, express who they are publicly here. And that, by very nature, is not what everyone is doing, so other people see that as something that's different and a possibility to change the world system. And so potentially they would lose their power, they would lose their money, they would lose the things that the world system has given them through them abdicating their self for that purpose. So here's the question, what do you gain with being yourself, living words just of love, self acceptance, self expression? What do you gain from that? That's something you really have to look at within yourself because all of us have had some moments like that. Some moments that were pure, that were really us just being ourselves. If you really remember that moment fully, what was it like to be there in that moment, to be in your body, to move, to express? you know, what was going on that moment. For me, that's like the most viable thing ever, to live that, to be that. That's the real definition of the word freedom. It has nothing to do with your environment, with the people in it. It only had to do with you, you expressing yourself. You could say unconditionally, fully, being here, being in your body, being in the moment. What's the value of that? I would say that everything else wouldn't be anything of value in comparison to that. Not all the money, not all the fame in the world. And it's not to say that you know, these things are at odds, but how much time do you actually spend within, within developing yourself, who you are, and how much time do you spend on perhaps things you don't really need? or things that aren't really that fulfilling. And what about a world where we all actually are able to live that and express that all the time? Then we set up a world where we're able to take care of our needs, the needs of others, and simply live each day, doing our responsibilities, yet within our expressions. What would it be like to live that, to be in that world? Where everyone, everyone you know in your life would be like that, being the real expressions. What would be the value of that? So, 
this is a message I wanted to share. This is a lesson I wanted to give. Spend time, time that you do have available to you. No matter how little it may be, or how lot it may be, <laughs> just use it well. Focus on who you are, because when you make those corrections in who you are, it won't really just only solve that one problem that you had, but will actually solve many problems, because many problems come from that lack in who you are. It's like when you have a sickness, do you just want to cure just one symptom? Or do you actually want to find a source for the sickness? Do you just want to stop only the fever? Or do you actually want to help your body to heal? So it's really about finding the source, the source of your problems. And I'm suggesting that the source of your problems and your perceived problems, your self-created problems is from yourself. So, here in this video I shared a little of what I've, I've looked at. And I hope this little will be support and that you can take it on for yourself. Take on the responsibility of understanding who you are. Taking the responsibility of this self that is you. And all the privileges, all the power, and all the responsibility that comes with being alive. Investigate destiny.org. That's D E S T E N I dot org and learn, understand, practice the tools, and get to know who you are. That's only something you can do. So this is Yogan signing off. Have a good one. Bye.